Good morning. Pam's Listen to VOA, Japanese English listening material site with transcript. China video ad calls for 100 Uyghur women to urgently marry Han men by a SIM cash carry in August 21st. 2028-22 p.m. Washington, a video clip asking 100 Uyghur women to urgently sign up for intermarriage with Chinese men has been circulating on social media platforms in recent weeks, with observers and Uyghur human rights activists calling it another attempt by the Communist Party of China CCP, to sinicize the Turkic-speaking ethnic groups in Xinjiang region. The 30-second video advertisement first appeared on Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok but was later deleted following a social media campaign by Uyghur human rights activists abroad. Uyghur activists have since posted the video on other platforms such as Twitter and Facebook, saying it sheds light on Beijing's policy to eradicate the Uyghur's distinct culture. We thank the government and the party for creating this beautiful life. The video begins in Uyghur saying it's urgent call to organize 100 Uyghur brides is giving voice to the government's promotion of Uyghur and Chinese in her marriage. According to Darren Byler, a Seattle-based anthropologist and China expert at the University of Washington, the attempt by Chinese authorities is sharply gendered around marriage between Chinese men and Uyghur women, indicating that a certain racialized power dynamic is a part of this process. It does seem as though this is an effort to produce greater assimilation and diminish ethnic difference by pulling Uyghurs into Han-dominated relationships, said Byler, adding that intermarriage has become a priority of local officials in Xinjiang. Intermarriage policy reports about China's promoting intermarriage between Uyghurs and Han Chinese go back to as early as August 2014 when local authorities in Shershin County of Xinjiang announced Incentive measures encouraging Uyghur Chinese in their marriage. The measures laid out a set of incentives by the government, including a 10,000 yuan $1,450 U.S. cash reward annually for five years to the intermarried couples. The incentive package also included preferential treatment toward employment, housing and free education for the couples, their parents and offspring. Our advocacy of intermarriage is promoting positive energy, said Zhu Xin, the Chinese Communist Party secretary of Shershin County, while introducing the incentive measures. Only by promoting the establishment of a social structure and community environment in which all ethnic groups are embedded in each other can we boost the great unity, ethnic fusion and development of all ethnic groups in Xinjiang and finally realize our China dream of great rejuvenation of our Chinese nation, Zhu added. In a January article on the Chinese site Netis Mao Dao, a CCP official in Guma County of southern Xinjiang, said that religious extremism was behind the lack of ethnic unity between Uyghurs and Han Chinese. He said that 2010 national censuses showed that Xinjiang had the lowest rate of interethnic marriage among ethnic minorities. The main obstacle to Uyghur Chinese intermarriage is that the infiltration of religious extremism has changed the social environment, in that the three forces have destroyed ethnic relations, Dao said, referring to Beijing's claim that Xinjiang is home to three forces of evil, namely separatism, terrorism and extremism. Intermarriage videos years into the announced policy, Uyghur activists on social media have shared dozens of videos reportedly showing Uyghur women forcefully wedded to Chinese men. The videos sometimes show the gloomy Uyghur brides appearing to begrudge their grooms. However, in a rare video posted July 12 on its official Twitter account, China's state media outlet, the People's Daily of China displayed the story of a Uyghur man dating a Chinese woman. The man, the People's Daily of China said, was one of numerous young people in NW China's Xinjiang who pursue love earnestly. Demographic change While Chinese authorities say intermarriage in Xinjiang could promote tolerance and peace in the region, Uyghur diaspora leaders call it a part of CCP's effort to erode the Uyghur identity and change the demographics of the region. 
home to more than 13 million Muslims such as Uyghur, Kazakh and other ethnic groups, Xinjiang has witnessed a dramatic increase in Chinese population from just more than 200,000 in 1949, when the CCP's Liberation Army took over the region, to almost 9 million in recent years. This CCP policy is also an attempt to solve the problem of the massive surplus of Chinese men, compared to the number of women. It appears they are advertising Uyghur women as a solution to find Chinese men wives, Dolganisa, president of Munich-based World Uyghur Congress, told VOA. Because of China's one-child policy and widespread use of abortion targeting female babies and preference of male babies, there are reportedly far more men in China than women. That's all. Thank you. Listen to VOA.